So we're now in the epiphany season, the season that follows the Christmas season and leads us into Lent. The epiphany season is all about light. And the epiphany season all started a long, long, long time ago. The Bible tells us that wise people from the East came bringing Jesus three gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Bible doesn't tell us how many people brought those gifts, but since there were three gifts, we tend to talk about three wise people. But it could have been that one wise man saw the star in the sky and said, oh, let's follow the star and see where it leads. And then one guy said, oh yeah, I wanna go. And then a woman said, ooh, that sounds really interesting. And then a young princess said, oh, I wanna go. I think I want to go. And her father said, you're not going anywhere, young lady. Or maybe it was just the three guys we talk about. And history has named them even though the Bible didn't. Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. Anyway, they traveled towards Bethlehem. They probably traveled on camels. They didn't have planes or trains back then and they followed the star until they got to the big city of Jerusalem. And they parked their camels outside and they went inside to see King Herod. King Herod was not a nice guy. And he told them to stop following the star until he could figure out what it meant. He had no idea what it meant, but it scared him. So he called together all of his advisors and he said, they're talking about a new king. Where is the new king going to be born? His advisor said, in Bethlehem of Judea. So he sent the wise men off to Bethlehem of Judea and told them to come back and tell him once they found Jesus. He was planning on killing him once he found him. Anyway, Jesus and his mother were in their house. And all of a sudden one day, these people show up at Mary's door and they've got gold and frankincense and myrrh and she was probably a little worried and scared and nervous, but she knew they wanted to see Jesus. And so they brought Jesus out. It says the child, so we don't really know how old Jesus was, but he wasn't very old. And the wise men, very wisely, decided they would go home by another route so that they couldn't tell Herod where Jesus could be found. So there we have it. That was the first epiphany. And so the epiphany season is all about light, all about following God's light until we find Jesus. There will be many ways that we talk about following God's light during epiphany season. I can't wait to share some of them with you.